What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Robert, A1 Locksmith, A1 E-D-U, right? So right off the bat, let me tell you to stay tuned because this video is gonna encompass a lot, including putting this product to use in my own safe, right? Like how does it work and let's actually go and do it, okay? I'm just gonna tease you with that. Let's jump right into this product right here. This is the Safe Alert from Liberty Safe. Really cool thing about this product is that it kind of answers the call of, hey man, can you attach my existing alarm system in my house to my safe so that I know, you know, somebody's trying to break into it or my business, right? So keep that in mind. And usually we have to say no, but this product is a yes. This is a security system for your safe, your gun safe, your home safe, your jewelry safe, whatever, right? So we're gonna go over today again, how it works, what it comes with, and then, like I said, we're gonna go on site and we're gonna do an actual install and set it all up, everything, okay? The Safe Alert offers these things. The humidity on the inside of your safe, it lets you know what that is. Be an app on your phone, I should say that, I'm sorry. iOS or Android app, okay? So what's the humidity inside my safe? What's the temperature inside my safe? Um, what else, guys? It gives us the, uh, if the door opens, if the door closes, and it lets you know if the safe has been jostled or rocked as if somebody's trying to break their way into it, right? Something very forceful. This thing does all of the above. From an app, sends notifications. If the humidity gets to a certain, you know, uncomfortable temperature for you, which is, again, you know, like, why would I use this? And, you know, somebody brought it up to me the other day when we were talking about making this video. It's like, actually, if you have your safe out in the garage, like, this guy does, humidity is very important, right? That's the only time that uh, my locksmiths, when they're selling safes, talk to you and they really, really, really push the humidity rods or the dehumidifier rods like the uh, golden rods and one foot long, uh, 18 inch version, whatever, ever dries, any kind of dehumidifiers, especially if it's in a garage. Why? Because that does not have the same protection uh, as inside the insulation as you have inside your home, right? So this helps you monitor that humidity, that temperature issue anything of that nature. There's a uh, wonderful little advancement in security. So here we go. So right here, let's do the unboxing as they say, right? I'm on the internet, I'm on YouTube, I'm doing it right. We're gonna unbox this right here. You will notice first how sleek, how sexy the sleeve is that encompasses the product we're gonna open, okay? Obviously the outside of the package says a lot of what I just said. But let's actually take a look and reminder, because uh, some of you may already have one, this is a product that used to be on the market probably a decade plus ago, but it's been off the market for several years. It's come back to us and um, <laughs> there's actually a lot of customers who would tell you, hey man, I have one of the old ones, still works great today, so glad to see it's back. Let's just open it and we'll go bit by bit, piece by piece. The first box that I come to, I don't know. It's like cereal when we were kids, remember? Toys inside, let's figure it out. Antenna, this is a six inch antenna. Again, this is gonna work off of Wi-Fi. So depending on your need, uh, this antenna can be attached to the safe alert itself to help uh, with that signal strength for the uh, Wi-Fi. Next one, the 72 inch uh, long antenna. So again, if you're, uh, router is like in your attic or it's really on the other side of the house, it's kind of far, and we're gonna need some extra uh, help getting some reception to our safe alert, back to our safe. We have a 72 inch cable that we get to check out as well. Right here, who's this? This is 3M adhesive on both sides. Oh, it's Velcro. So you could peel off the adhesive, stick it on the safe alert, peel off the other side, and stick it to a shelf inside your safe, a wall inside your safe, so it's out of the way. And it looks like, yeah, we've got some, uh, Got some mollies and some screws so that we can actually insert that into the uh, safe walls as well and get it even more secure. We've got the instructions. So again, we're gonna give you everything to make this easy on you. You better skip through the video and pick up where I am and see, but the instructions, boom. In case you wanna follow along while you're doing this yourself, anything uh, that maybe I skip over too fast or whatever, everything's here too, so. Uh, you comes comes with it for you. And then da, 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 
<laughs> Safe alert. This is the magical little box that's going to help you keep your safe safe. You're welcome, Internet. So what it offers is housing for batteries. Again, they're uh, 3AA. It's got port in the back if you want to. It doesn't come with one, but if you uh, have power in your safe and you have an AC adapter, power adapter, you can actually plug that in and you could run that way if you wanted to. And then of course we've got the uh, uh, antenna plug-in for our Wi-Fi reception. And then, yeah, this dude right here, oh, there's the sensor. So the sensor right here is used to detect the light, to, to know when the safe is open or closed as well, to let you know, okay? That is everything inside the box, like I said. Follow along, we're gonna go play with this in depth and show you it in person, it up happening at my safe, as a matter of fact, because what a wonderful product. Why wouldn't I want this too, right? So, and again, always, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I'm gonna say that a few times. And then uh, stay tuned for that big announcement. And we're back, just like that. Movie magic, people. So, Secure Ram, I don't know that I said that originally. Secure Ram makes this. You'll re recognize the name Secure Ram uh, as it's the keypad manufacturer on all of the Liberty line of safes. And again, as locksmiths, we uh, support the Secure Ram brand quite well. They've seemed to be really dependable since uh, uh, Liberty made the big switch, but we've been using them years before that. So, Secure Ram is actually the one on the product now. And again, it's the Safe Alert. And uh, again, this is the portion of the video where we're gonna start putting everything together for the install. Uh, skip ahead or whatnot, we're gonna do the app process with you, right? We'll probably do like a screen share or something so you can see, click and download and blah, 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 create an account, we're gonna do it all. And so first thing I'm gonna do though, is that uh, again, I told you earlier, uh, this is three AA batteries. See that? Magic. They're gonna go right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab some batteries and install now and have that ready to go. Positive to positive, negative to negative, close. And I don't know if you can see that, I'm gonna do a little twisty twisty. There's a little blue light up here that's confirming to me that it's good to go, that it's got some juice, okay? So my batteries must be working. Again, it comes with either uh, mollies and screws so that you can molly or screw it uh, right to the, if you have you know a safe that has like a sheetrock interior. Um, or they have a 3M sticky adhesive. I think for me, I'm just gonna use the 3M sticky adhesive. Again, this is totally uh, preference. You can do whatever you wanna do, right? So with that, we did the unboxing and we showed you the 3M sticky, it's Velcro. There's two pieces. Let's get that going. So uh, this is actually a fun fact. This is exactly how the uh, LEDs come, the uh, Liberty LED light kits on the back of them. Same thing, excuse me, you can either screw them in, one of, you'll have to have, provide your own screws, but or there's just 3M sticky adhesive on the back of the lights themselves. So again, the sensor is on this end, and so that's what's gonna be facing outward, you know, like so. so for me, I know where I want to set this bad boy. I'm going to put it right in the dead center here. Stick adhesive on there. Just good firm squeeze hold for a few seconds there. Cool. Now, 3M he, uh, sticky adhesive on the other side. And I'm just going to, I'm actually going to slap it on the sidewall of my safe so that um, it's way over here. It's out of my way. I'm not going to bang it while I'm getting, you know, stuff in and out. And, but the light itself is, even if I don't have enough light in the room, uh, let's say if I open this thing in the dark or somebody was breaking in rather, that's the whole point, right? And uh, the lights weren't on in my garage, they open the door, well, the lights of the safe will kick on. So I'm gonna point it so that that sensor is looking right at that. I'll use the shelf as a little extra support. Again, same thing, I'll give a little press and hold on the adhesive. You can just fast forward. We're gonna sit here and cap to 100. Ready? One, two, 100. Did it work? All right, we're on, we're live, okay? The other thing I haven't done yet was choose my antenna.
Nintendo. Option. So, for me, I've got a, a decent uh, Wi-Fi reception out here in the garage, but uh, I'm going to boost that. One, you need to see what that looks like, or you know, in case you were curious. And then two, I don't want to have to do this again. So, if I don't want to use this, I'll just take it off. But I think I'll need it. So, again, I'm going to choose the longer cat guy, fella, wire. And uh, that way I can kind of set this antenna wherever I'd like. Off to the side. All right, so again, very simple. Six footer. This is the actual antenna itself. 3M sticky adhesive on the back. So again, I can, same thing like I did that one on the inside wall, I can kind of mash this against the side of my safe. It's nice and slender, low profile, so I can hurt anything. Um, in my case, I'm just gonna run out the front. There's just enough gap in my door, I think that that's not gonna be an issue. And then we've got the very simple plug end. It's gonna go in the back of our unit. And so with that, that, that 3M uh, adhesive that we uh, stuck on, well, it's Velcroed. So part of it will, uh, there you go, come on. We'll stay on the unit, part of it will stay on the wall. Here's my plug. Here's my little insert. Nice little click. That way I think you know you're in. That way you're not pushing too hard or pulling or twisting or anything, it just clicked in. Hopefully you heard that. So I'll put that back on in place. And for the sake of just doing this, I'll probably clean these wires up when we're done. I'm gonna watch my wire, see if I'm pinching or not. Oh no. Oh yeah, like it's, I can move the wire, but not jiggle the wire or anything. There's a perfect little gap right there. So, can you still, Mr. Cameraman, see me right here? So what I'll do is, I've given myself plenty of uh, slack and everything. So again, I think I'm just gonna slap this on the side of the safe, kind of out of the way. You'll see the wire, but the safe's black, so I'm not that worried about it. And again, this is my security system, so I'm really not worried about it, right? Um, move that down. Here we go, ready, ready? 3M, sticky, red, peel, get it going. I don't have fingernails. Oh, you hear that? Oh, you're welcome, internet. That was free. Here we go. Now I've got this nice adhesive here. Like I said, for me, I'm just gonna run it over here on the side of the safe. Give it a press. I'm sure we'll show you what that looks like a close up or something later. Okay. Come right back here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. I dig it. And again, obviously I can just unplug my unit or the antenna from the unit if I want to change how I did this or whatever. So I may play with that too. But anyhow, we've what? We've installed, right? We've done the, hopefully you can see the product. We have, um, We've used our adhesive to stick in our case. We've got our antenna set up. We've stuck on our antenna. We've got our batteries installed. Guys, I think it's time to move on. Let's grab the instructions and we're gonna look at the app and let's see exactly how we get into that, okay? Let's go. All right guys, so the first thing we wanted to do, right, was in the instructions was go to the app store or Google Play and find the, uh, what was it called? Liberty Home Security app. Download that so I can get the ball rolling there. Once I've downloaded and opened the app, it's gonna give me some questions about, I think, notifications and, you know, Bluetooth and things of that nature. So we'll fill that out and then we need to create an account inside of the app.
it's going to walk us through and hopefully we've already done this guys it's going to ask us to of course install our batteries or our ac power adapter and it'll remind us that we need to plug in our antenna and it's a good idea to go ahead and do that make sure you get plenty of good signal and then press the button on the back for um, connecting the device and in which it'll begin to scan for it and so we found out this is a good idea to leave it in is that we found that some devices pending serial number could be a bluetooth matching or pairing adding device or it could be a wi-fi pairing of the device so you need to check the serial number uh, on the screen or on, on your safe alert and compare that to the notes on the screen which is like i had to do here I found that based on my model, I had to go ahead and do the Bluetooth adding device. But once I did it, recognize the device quickly. And from there, you're just going to select your device at the top of the screen and then click next. You should be directed to the point where you can find your Wi-Fi and find your router. And of course, set up your Wi-Fi with your password to go to the next step. And we found the next step was to check all the settings and upload information, check the connection to the device pairing with your phone so that you can then click next. And you should find out that we are done. And it does let us know that, hey, it could take up to five minutes before we actually see anything going on. So you can always uh, just click next at that point. Name your device before you do, actually, I'm sorry. Um, if, you, if you want to name your safe alert, <laughs> I guess in case you have more than one safe, right? Have more than one location, business, home, more than one in the house. So you would do this for every one of those that you wanted to add. And of course, once you're done, you would click on the next icon and you should find that you have successfully added your safety alert. And at the home screen, we can go ahead and take a look at all of the options that the safe alert offers us so that we'll be able to check out and open it and see our status of our door, you know, open, close, vibration sensor, temperature, humidity, things of that nature. And like we talk about, remember, if you plug in and you're up and running and you've opened the screen and it will take up to five minutes before it's actually going to show you any current history. It's, um, on ours, it seemed like temperature and humidity were up to snuff. As soon as we plugged in, that seemed to start working. And of course, that's always going to vary by the safe being open or closed for a certain amount of time and if you have a dehumidifier or not. And within each click, you know, for example, here under the history or the door status, um, if we click on history, it would show us here uh, when the door was opened, when it was closed. And we can see that if we click on the vibration, if the safe was ever shaken, it will show us when those things happened as well. And then obviously, again, at my home screen, I can adjust my humidity, when I wanted to notify me of my temperature uh, being too low or too hot. And I can actually do the same thing for my humidity levels. If I want to make sure that those are monitored and notify me if it gets too low or too high. And of course, save those options once I'm done adjusting those. And that should be everything with the app from start to finish. And if you have any questions or anything that I've missed within this process, let me know at that point you should be getting notifications you might check to make sure your notifications are on on your particular cell phone because we all have different setups so that you do get the alerts when the door opens when the door closes for that max a minimum and max temperature and humidity settings that you've put on there and uh, keep subscribing keep following along hit the notification bell so you know of that content and when it's coming and we will see you on the next video